eliminaron. Y ellos que no lo eliminan. ¿no? No, sí. uno tiene que eliminarlo de, 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 como de la agenda de nosotros. Nosotros lo tenemos que eliminar para no confundirnos. Ajá. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. No nos oyó. Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Welcome, everybody. Welcome one more time to a new class. To a new night because the day already gone. <laughs> the night is ours. Okay. And now we're gonna call the roll. And let me see right here. Okay, 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 okay. The first one, Ana Graciela. Present teacher. Okay, is here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Anderson Jeremy Molina. Anderson, hello, no here, right? No here, Anderson. Armando Antonio, here. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Blanca Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Karina Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Aníbal. Carlos, can you hear me? Okay, Carlos. Right. Yes. Okay. Daniela Alejandra. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Daniela. Thank you. Uh, Diana Patricia. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Elsa Noelia. Present. Okay, thank you. Floricia Mengiba. Okay, thank you. And Henry Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Henry. Thank you. Ingrid Esmeralda. <coughs> Present, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Iván. Don Jaime Iván. Sure. Is, is you Jaime? Jaime, are you there? I am here, teacher. Ah, okay, thank you, Jaime. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Jocelyn? I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you. Karina Yamilet? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Carla Gabriela? Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Imelda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Marisol de Los Angeles. Present, Mister. Marisol from LA. LA. Uh, Miguel Angel Clemente. <clears throat> Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Romel Jose. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ronald Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Noemi. Present. Uh, thank you. Thank you. What about Wilfredo Alberto? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, I would like to know something if Anderson Jeremy already connect. And Carlos Aníbal. They are not present yet, right? Uh, okay, let's continue, guys. Okay, continue with the follow. So, yesterday, uh, we were talking about <clears throat> the reading. Remember, we're going to make a little feedback. Feedback is, uh, I don't know if you already have an idea what is feedback is. 
taking the, the previous topic of what we were talking about and talk about them in the next class, right? And talking about readings around the world and how to interact, how to use those questions, how to ask something. And can you, can someone tell me what, what they can remember about the, the, the yesterday class? Raise your hand and can tell me anyone from the last class, right? Just an idea. A W question, teachers, and positives and some readings. Okay, W question, possessive adjective, some reading. Yeah, some reading. Don't gonna tell me some ribble or some knife because that here doesn't apply. <laughs> okay, thank you. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, now we're going to play a little video. I hope you can you can hear the the video. Yes, let's play the video. The following video. I can hear. I can hear. You don't listen. Oh, I don't know what happened this with this video. You don't. You you can hear right. No. Uh, what about now? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what happened with this, but I've been working on this, but I don't know. What's, what's the problem because always uh, and has worked in this way. You put the video right here. And yesterday I tried in a different way, but have you seen, we couldn't hear the, the video. Just, you can watch the video yesterday, right? But we have the, we have the statement right here. Right. Okay, we have here. And we have our conversation or dialogue. Okay, listen and practice. We continue talking about song here. Do you remember who was song here, right? The Korean girl from Seoul. From Seoul. I, I think she's famous. <laughs> okay, let's start. Hey, David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are you classes interesting in this semester? Yes, they are really low chemistry. Chemistry? Are you in bed in the same class? No, you aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. And this is a common conversation between two, two people, right? And they were, uh, where do you think they were talking about? The place in where they were talking. What can you okay. tell me? We heard classes. Mm, no, in this case, the place where they were, while they were talking, or imagine the, the sorry, at the school, at the schools, and which other place we can we can meet at the with. university, at the at university, the, right at the university, at the campus, in other way or in other words, at the campus. Okay, campus. Okay. Campus, whatever we want, you can use it. That's no problem. Okay, I would like to 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 to, to participate. Okay, Me well, who who who? Who, who who Armando and Diana. Okay, who, I think Diana is gonna be soon here, and Armando is gonna be David, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Let's start. One, two, three. 
Hey, Davey. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. How are you? Ah, uh, pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and bed in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, uh, I am on my way to the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. In this way, you can improve your speaking, also your listening skill. This helps us a lot. Not only you, uh, also the other guys, the, the other participants, right? Let's continue. Oh, I don't know what. Here, this is. Okay. Let me check. I don't know what's happening. To this. I think I'm having technical issues with it. I don't know. Okay, they Oh no, I remember the, the, the video, the, you can hear the video. We're going to meet the, the, the video for the moment. <clears throat> okay, now we have yes, no question and short answer with B. And has someone or uh, have heard about this structure right here? Can tell me somebody if has heard about this structure? ¿Quién ha escuchado hablar acerca de, este, de esta estructura? Yes, no question and short answer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, eh, estoy viendo que varios este, me tienen la camarita apagada, como Elizabeth Barrientos, Carla, oh, okay, okay. Oh, Carla Gabriela, Ronald Alexander. Eh, okay, vamos a ver. Marisol, ahí está. Ok, son problemas ahorita técnicos también. Estamos teniendo, pero ahí está. Bueno, nobody have heard about it. Ok, let's go to talk about. <clears throat> yes, no question. In this kind of structure, we always have at the beginning, uh, whatever the form of the verb be, or the famous form, have you heard about the verb to be? Is the same. Just, just in this case, you said uh, uh, B, that, that's it. And who is, oh, okay, Ronald, Ronald, okay, don't worry. Here we have some sentences. I don't know if you can observe something in this, in this sentence. What can you, what, what can you see in this sentence? The subject is at the beginning. <laughs> The subject is not at the beginning. It's in, in the beginning. Está de primero. Mm, right here? Yes. Mm, no. <laughs> uh, the verb no. Be, uh, the is, verb be be. Uh -huh, just... is, <clears throat> is first. Remember something. The four of the verb be, this one, the, the one that we have, uh, we were talking about them the, yesterday in the class. Are those what are and is? And also we have now. Those are very the, the three four of the bird to be. And we can see uh, the famous el signo el signo el famoso signo de interrogación para que le decimos nosotros. Uh, the, uh, well, let's let's see here. We have a four of the bird to be. Are you free? And you can watch. You can see. Uh, after the bird to be, we have the search. Right? Always happen in the same way. You search right here. Then go with the subject. Have the bird. We're going to read to understand that a little bit more. Are you free? It's a question, right? As we already mentioned, is David from Mexico? Is Beth class in the morning? 
Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you, are your classes interesting? Here we have uh, the short answer. Have you have an idea why they are called short answers? Can, can anyone tell me? Why this one are known by short answer? Short, 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 short. Respuestas cortas. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. No, I am not. Yeah, those those ones are the uh, the way we can write the, the short answer. But why we call short answer? Why we call it short answer? Because they are for verb to be. And verb be verb to be. Yeah, we also use verb to be, and they are short. They are short. That's why, o sea, son cortas, son pequeñitas. Por eso se le dice short. Short yeah, answer. Sir, no, o, re, o, respuestas, o respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, if we see, we have the, eh, the two different ways in which eh, you can answer the question. You can answer in the positive way or in a negative way. If you answer in a positive way, you always going to put at the beginning the, yeah, uh, the word yes. And if you're going to refer to something negative, you're going to use no. Here we have the question. Are you free? The positive way, yes, I am. The negative way, no, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. This is the positive way. What about the negative? No. Here we have a contraction also. No, he's not. And we have another way. And we, the contraction, the verb to be, we, we not. No, he isn't. We have the two ways, right? You can use he's not or he isn't. The two of them are good. Is bed class in the morning? Yes, it is. This is the positive answer. What about the negative? No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and bed in the same class? Yes, we are. The positive, the negative, no, we, no, we're not. The contraction for, we have another one. No, we aren't. We have the, the last one. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. Positive way. Sorry, the positive answer and the negative. No, they are not. The other one, no, they are. I would like uh, five participants in order to to say the the following question with the a short answer, right? We have one, two, three, four, five. I would like five participants. I don't know who wants to participate. The one who did in the last class, I don't know who they were. Los que no participaron la clase pasada, este, no importa que se, que se equivoquen o algo así por el estilo. Todos estamos aprendiendo. Como les dice en buen salvadoreño, aunque sea como gato panza arriba, pero vamos a... a a ir Yo quiero participar, aquí. teacher. Quiero participar, pero como no comprendo lo que usted está diciendo. Ah, ok. No, vamos aquí. Retomemos un poquito. Tenemos, eh, we are talking about the yes, no question. O sea, la respuesta de sí o no. The only thing that you're going to do is read. Are you free? And continue here. Yes, I am. And you continue here. No, I'm not. That's the only thing that you're going to do. Es lo único que va a hacer. Comenzar eh, lado izquierdo, nos vamos en medio y terminamos aquí. Ahora sí. No sé quién fue que me, que me dijo eso, que no, no, no había captado todavía. Hello. Hello, hello. Teacher, yo le, le dije que quería participar. Sí, pero, oh, Karina, o sea, Karina. Sí entiendo, entiendo lo que está en la, en la pantalla. 
Eh, Taya, lo que no entiendo es lo que usted está diciendo, si me está preguntando, ¿se habla? Lo que, en lo que vamos a hacer aquí, Karina, va, eh, quiero que cinco personas que me ayuden a la lectura de cada uno de ellos. Comenzamos aquí en Are You Free, continuamos Yes, ah, I am. Okay. Ajá, y luego terminamos en No, I Know. O sea, ese no es problema. Eh, no importa okay. si ustedes no entienden y me quieren preguntar en español. Nosotros somos todos oídos y pues esa es la idea. Aquí todos okay. estamos aprendiendo. No importa. Y, y si lo hacemos macheteado, tam, tampoco. Oh, Ajá, oh. Eso. No, es, por, eso, por eso estoy pidiendo cinco participantes. O sea, no, entonces... usted dije que me va a decir la primera desde aquí hasta acá. Luego quiero otro que me diga la siguiente. y, okay. y... De esa manera, comencemos, Karina. Let's start, Karina. Me. Ok. Yo te ayudo. Eh, Nelson, Karina, let's start. Then goes Nelson, and after Imelda, María, and Elizabeth. Yeah. Karen. Beatriz, usted me dice, comencemos. Yeah. Okay. Sí, okay. Are you free? Yes, yeah. I am. No, I'm not. Ah, yeah. Oh, excellent. Great, great, great. Who, who is the next one? Nelson Rutilio. Uh, let's continue right here. Okay. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Who was the... Was the next one? Maria Wendy, right? Is bed class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. And who was the... Uh, Henry, Henry, right? And there goes Imelda. Are you and Beth? In the same class? Yes, yeah. we are. Huh? No, we were not. Uh -huh. No, we aren't. Okay, thank you. Uh, Imelda? Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they are. are no, they are not. No, they aren't. No, they are not. Eh, no, they are. Correcto. Vamos a ir mejorando. And what about Don Nelson? Don Nelson, can you read me here the number one, the one that uh, the one that we have here? We we'll start right here. Is Miss Gray from the United States? Can you read it for me, Don Nelson? Is Mr. Gray from the United States? Yes, she is. Yes, she yes, she is from Chicago. Okay. She is from, from Chicago. Okay. Now we have to complete the following conversation. What we're gonna do here? We are going to complete with in the empty space using the B forms as we were mentioning in the example number one. We have the uh, this this example. Is Miss Gray from United States? Yes, she. We use uh, uh, the uh, before. Yes, she is from Chicago. Oh. And that's what we're going to do here in number three. Num uh, sorry, number two, number three, and number five. Uh, let's take a little look right here in number two. Can someone tell me? What we're gonna use or what we're gonna put in the display right here and then in the follow. Is is English class at ten o'clock? Yeah, uh huh. No. Is it? It's not. No. It's at eleven. It is at. It isn't. No. It it's at 11 o'clock. It is at 11 o'clock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what about Wilfredo? Could you help us with the number three? Uh, 
Uh, are you a uh, Monique from France? France, right? Yes. Uh -huh. yes, we are. From Paris. From Paris. From Paris, Paris, Paris. The city okay. of love. Sure. Bueno, okay, ahí se ve. bueno, no sé si soy yo que no veo bien, como que hay una coma ahí y luego hay un espacio, no sé si. No. Ajá, es que se ve, teacher, como que llevara dos respuestas porque tiene doble línea para contestar y eso era la que tenía yo como una, una pregunta de que por qué está, si es que lleva otra palabra más o, o solo es el, digamos, por ejemplo, el number three, yes, we are, y from Paris, o llevará algo más. Mm. Podría sí, ser la contracción. Sí, Hola. Ponerlo normal y de ahí la contracción, pienso que por eso es en, así. De cualquiera lo toma. Compañeros, eh, en, la plataf en la plataforma aparecían así. Para ejemplo, de la, de la número uno, la respuesta decía: Yes, she is. Uh, she's from Chicago, o sea, volví a empezar como dos frases separadas. Uh -huh. Creo que por eso es que tiene un punto ahí en medio. Sí, es que creo el... que el, el, el error fue el momento de, 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 de escanear los, los libros que quedó como que con ese puntito de más algo ahí. Como si tuviera un punto. Uh -huh. Ajá, este, este que está aquí mismo. Ajá, Entonces lo mismo... sería la, la short answer más la respuesta como normal, digamos, la, la respuesta larga. Eh, no necesariamente no. porque eh, estamos trabajando no sería ya... que no aparece en forma contractada por eso ponen el punto eh, como aquí en estos ejercicios es según como nosotros creamos que es la mejor respuesta verdad eh, estamos hablando eh, para, teníamos aquí la primera si ustedes se fijan y aquí está el gran espacio ¿no? is Miss Gray from United States yes she is from Chicago porque no podemos eh, no podemos poner eh, eh, yes, she yes is from Chicago. No, eso no existe. O sea, si nos fijamos aquí, miren, yes, he is, o oh, yes, she is. Miren, no podemos, o sea, como que eh, eh, this is what we call in, esto es lo que llamamos boletilla. No lo podemos estar, o sea, como redondeando cuando por eso se llama short answer. O sea, se llama respuestas. Respuestas cortas. Ya en las negativas, en las negativas, si ustedes se fijan, es que tenemos dos formas diferentes de poder decir lo mismo. Como aquí y como al otro costado. Pero ambas son lo mismo, escritas de diferente manera. Por eso tal vez ha entrado un poquito en la confusión aquí, ¿verdad? No sé si, 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 si vámonos ahí como ubicando. Sí, sí. Y si partimos del pronombre, ¿sí? Who is, who is speaking? ¿Quién está hablando? Que no, no, le, no, le, no le escucho muy bien. Sí. Solamente I am not. Eh, no existe otra forma de contratar. Solamente esa. Solamente esa. No, I not. Eh, la, porque la, la, la única contracción es esta. Porque no podemos decir I... Uh, Aún no, no existe la forma, pues, o sea, si yo, si yo quisiera desglosar el I y como que contractar el am con not, o sea, eso no, eso no existe yeah. porque si no sería como que, o sea, ni se ha inventado. Eh, y no... Por la forma del to be, que es, es am, ¿verdad? Entonces con el not no se podría como diferenciar el, la M con la N, por ejemplo. O sea, la ajá, unión, y, la contracción. Ajá. Y es que gramatica, gramaticalmente hablando, esta es la única contracción que existe en negativo en el caso de A. Si ustedes se fijan, en el caso de IS es muy diferente. Lo podemos hacer con el sujeto o lo podemos hacer con el negativo NOT. Miren, NO, IS NOT, NO, y ISN. Por eso yo creo que aquí entraba la confusión de la mayoría de algunos de ustedes, ¿verdad? Porque vemos esta parte de aquí. De, un tipo, de una especie de contracción y aquí tenemos otro ejemplo de contracción pero siempre es siempre, bueno verdad ir aclarando esa, esa tudita ¿verdad? ok teacher, teacher. Oh, who is speaking who is speaking quién está hablando Nelson 
Nelson, ok, Nelson. Lo que le entendí el compañero es, por ejemplo, le de las dos respuestas, por ejemplo, en la uno, ¿Eh? donde respondemos, yes, she is, she is from Chicago. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? ¿Es, ¿Se puede de esa manera? Uh, yes, she is from Chicago. Yes, yes she is, luego coma, she is from Chicago. Se por, lo podríamos aplicar eh, como un suponer este, hablando pero en el caso del positivo, como aquí estamos afirmando, decimos yes si ustedes se fijan, no tenemos como otra opción de volverlo a escribir eh, diferente, pero diciendo lo mismo y, ta, y estos espacios me imagino que ellos los dejaron, algo así bien extendido, pensando que si el estudiante es, esto es más que todo como un tricky game, para hacer el no. estudiante como dejar estos, estos espacios aquí para uh -huh. hacer pensar al estudiante de que no podría ser este, sino que este. Entonces, es para make you, make you think a little bit more. O sea, para que ustedes este, analicen un poquito más a profundidad. Okay, por, eso es que, por eso es que Yo las creía, personas... Hola. Yo creía que eso, ese escaneo es de algún libro donde eh, se los daban así físicamente y lo llenaban a mano y por ende al escribir a mano es un poco más el espacio que se ocupa por eso es eh. que el espacio es un poco más grande y quedó así ya a la, a la hora de escanear y escanearon una, un sobre escaneo de un escaneo escanearon este, esta información me imagino que por eso se ve así también sí, 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 este, ok let's continue because due to the time we, we, we don't have too much time, right Uh, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, wait. Okay, let's continue right here. We're going to move. This. Answer this question about yourself. If your answer, eh, lo que estábamos hablando, a veces traen los libros unos pequeños eh, eh, errores de dedos, porque aquí faltaría, if your answer is not, give the correct information, then ask your partner the question. We have the following question. Uh, these questions are general questions, right? We're going to use this just to practice a little bit more. The first question said, are you from United States? Is your teacher from Canada? Is your English class in the morning? Are you and your best friend the same age? Do you remember that we were talking about short answer? Uh, can someone tell me how we can answer this question that we have here? Are you from United States? What will be the possible answer that we can select, choose, or put, or write right here? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not from the United States. No, I'm not from the United States. Are you from the United States? No, I'm not. From United States, right, right, right. The negative way, but we can use also the positive way. What will be the positive way in uh, answering this question? Yes, I am. Yes, yes I, am. I am. Yes, I am, right. <laughs> I like that because you are understanding faster, right? What about the number two? Is your teacher from Canada? No, I'm from here, from, from, from El Salvador, and also from the San Miguel Department. <laughs> I like I like I like Canada, but, but Canada is colder than San Miguel. No, no, no. Me and Cole, we are not we are not too close friends. No, 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 no. <laughs> is your teacher from Canada? How we can answer this question? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he's not. Right. No, Thank he's... you. No, she is. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, eh, a question. Yeah, yeah, Maria. Uh -huh, tell me. Trabajando, um, trabajando en la plataforma en ese ejercicio de la number two, eh, yo ponía este, no, he is, pero la respuesta no la agarra, solo la agarra con she is. Porque a oh. mí la traté y traté y no me la agarró hasta que puse she is. Ahí me la agarró, no sé si es error de plataforma. Eh, 
Le vamos a pegar una, eh, una ojadita ahí a la, a, la, a la plataforma el día, el día de mañana para ver qué, cómo podemos llegar, pero suele suceder eso, porque en inglés pasan unas, eh, unas cuestiones. Que puede haber una oración muy general que da cabida a dos posibles respuestas independientemente del género del cual nosotros estemos hablando. Puede ser género femenino o masculino. Entonces es ahí donde entra la confusion, donde usted dice es o no es. Entonces, pero porque estas son como unas muy open questions, o sea, son unas preguntas como muy, muy abiertas, o sea, no van como focus in one specific thing, no van a, eh, eh, hechas específicamente en algo, pues, o sea, que como que van directas, no sé si me doy un poquito a entender, ¿vale? Entonces el libro, eh, perdón, la plataforma, eh, ya está programada con su, 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 su respuesta, entonces, por ende, es que eh, a, ambas, pues, eh, podrían haber sido correctas, pero la plataforma dijo, esta voy a seleccionar yo. No sé si me voy a entender, María. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Sí, pero you. también ahí, teacher, decía respuestas cortas y a veces uno la, la escribe así abreviada y, y no la aceptaba, había que completarle. Ahí con United States. Va, entonces, si no se eh, le agregaba eso, no lo aceptaba. Va, entonces, para eso Decían también... Varias. Ajá, entonces, ah, eso pero también... ahí mismo dice en la, en, en la instrucción ahí la dice instrucción. que teníamos que completar, decía si la respuesta tenía que ser completa entonces quería decir que podía ser respuesta corta o podía ser agregando lo demás del complemento La contracción de hecho, es la que agarraba. De hecho el título, el título de esa página en la plataforma dice Yes, no, long questions No short no sé si alguien más se fijó en eso, pero al inicio dice en, en el título dice yes no long, o no, sea largas. Larga, cabrón. Larga, no, pues, o sea, uh -huh. este, puede caber. Pero, pero... En la indicación dice una cosa, el título otra y a la hora de poner la respuesta nos, nos quedábamos así como que no que siempre ponemos, porque no siempre es bueno que hagan esas observaciones porque de esa manera se trabaja para facilitarles cada vez mejor el, el, el trabajo verdad y para que se les haga más entendible verdad este continuemos verdad vamos este cualquier detalle lo podemos abordar en el transcurso del día de mañana me pueden escribir cualquier cosa para consultarles cualquier tipo de duda verdad pero ahorita este vamos a meterlo un poquito más porque necesitamos avanzar what about the number three is your English class in the morning What will be the possible answer for this one? Yes, yes it is. It is. No. No, it it it's not. not. It isn't. It isn't. No, it isn't. Teacher. Uh -huh. It isn't. Oh. Si en ese caso eh, estaría malo si yo solo contestara no o yes. Como. No, no poner. No, anoto o algo por el estilo, solo decir no. O en yes. este caso, en este ah. caso. Uh -huh. eh, vaya. Gramaticalmente hablando, es válido. Pero gramaticalmente, en escritura, eh, no, no aplicaría porque con respecto a la estructura. Porque estamos hablando de short answer. Y la short answer es, yes, I am, no, I not, eh, no, she's not. No, she is. Entonces, eh, estamos aplicando la estructura aquí. Pero si en el momento de hablar y alguien le pregunta a usted, vámonos con la onda de vuelta. Are you from San Miguel? And you only answer no. Usted solo responde no. A, o sea, en el momento de hablar, eso es válido. Pero, como estamos hablando de esta estructura de short answer, entonces tenemos que acoplarnos al contexto de la estructura al momento de contestar. Uh -huh. Ahí no sé si. Ok, vale. Let's continue. What about the number three? Are you and your best friend the same age? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, no we are not. not. No, no, we are not. no, we aren't. Uh -huh. Don Ronald, ¿cómo contestaría aquí usted la número cuatro? Tell me, Ronald, are you and your best friend the same age? Can you hear me, Ronald? Ronald. En español sería... 
estás tú y tu mejor amiga en Zen. ¿Qué, qué significaría las últimas dos palabras, Tish? Ok, va. Are you and your best friend the same age? Que si tú y tu amiga tienen la misma edad. O sea, same ah, age, yeah. misma edad. Are you answer this question? ¿Cómo la contestaría? What would be your possible yeah. answer? No. It is a she. No. We are not. Ah, uh, no. Uh, no, we are not. Or no, we no. are not. No, we are not the same age. Oh, uh, yeah, that, 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 that would be a great answer too, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, let's see and let's work here. This we man got... is saying again. Uh, write five Wait, questions about Steve your... Uh, five questions about your classmate, mm -hmm. then take turn asking and answering your question. What does this mean? We're going to write, no, fine. We're going to write, I think, like a, like a two, like a two question. And then we're going to choose a classmate in order to answer your question. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Eh, hacer, eh, crear dos preguntas, dos posibles preguntas y vamos a elegir a dos compañeros para que contesten las posibles respuestas. Bueno. Entonces, este, vamos a tomarnos este, un par de minutitos para poder trabajar en ello. The idea here, the idea here is that everybody eh, practice not only the speaking, their listening, also their grammar, right? Eh, la señorita Carla, ¿qué me dijo que le había pasado con su cámara? España. Mm -hmm. Ana Graciela, she said this. Y yo con mi cámara eh, toco ahí las partes donde dice quitar, detener video, quitar el filtro y no me funciona. Y a veces de repente ya si tira la mi imagen, pero a veces no, o sea, no, no sé qué podría tener. Vaya, podemos reportarle eso también ahí a soporte técnico ¿verdad? para ver de qué forma nos pueden brindar ayuda en la plataforma y solventar este eso a la brevedad posible. Su laptop, eh, Ana Graciela, su laptop tiene un, un interruptor donde puede tapar su cámara, quizás está tapada. Algunas laptops tienen, tienen eso. Sí, algunas laptops lo tienen. Es, es cierto lo que dice Don Wilfredo, ¿verdad? La lucita okay. está encendida, Luis. Pero tal vez, este, ya Ana Graciela. Tal vez tiene una opción ahí como para cablito aquí para que usted le mueva así. A ver si tiene un botoncito, tiene que buscárselo arriba de la cámara. Y le, le siente ahí una, como, ajá, el botoncito luego lo mueve para hacia un lado. Porque eso pasa con la mía. Ahí, ahí déjelo, ahí lo movió, pero lo volvió a poner. Ahí, ah, ahí, ahí está. está. Ajá. Ahí déjelo. Ah. Es de cabeza. <risa> Me la vuelta a la computadora. <risa> Vaya. Ok, continuamos, ¿verdad? Let's continue. Can, can someone tell me one question? Eh, the one that you write. We can use similar example, like let's do one. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for to Maria Wendy. Yeah, then. Maria Wendy, are you and Ana Graciela our friends? Ah, uh -huh, Chicago. Eh, no le escuché la pregunta. Are you and Ana Graciela our friends? Yes, Diego. Yes, 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 we are friends. 
Yes, yes we are friends. Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> also, you can use. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Floricia, what about you? Did you make uh, your question? You can also yes, use yes. Something, something similar yes. right here. Uh, yes. se select your victim. I, I, I mean, I said select your participants. Ana Graciela. <laughs> Ana Graciela, answer yes. the question from Floricia. Are you teacher from Los Angeles? Repeat. Are you teacher from Los Angeles? Are you teacher from Los Angeles, Ana Graciela? No, he's not. No, I not. Because it's making emphasis to you, because you are the person who she is asking. Ay, creí que me estaba hablando de usted, que si usted era de Los Ángeles. <laughs> que usted no, dice. No, 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 no. Eh, 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 la señorita Florencia estaba eh, haciendo la pregunta a usted para que usted se la contestara. Ajá, pero vamos agarrando eh, el hilo y el contexto, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, en honor al tiempo, este, una, eh, one more question. Who will be our next participant? Who will be our next participant? Pa, 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 pa. Ah, I have one here. Ruth Noemi, did you create or did you make your your question? No sé si me asigna a alguien usted. Para responderle. Sí, para hacerle la pregunta. Okay, guys, who wants to... Make a question to Ruth Noemi. Who wants? Who wants? Say me. Say I. Say yo. Whatever the way you want. Uh, are you from the San, the San Miguel? No. Ruth, you said that you want someone who was you. Usted dijo que quería alguien que le preguntara a usted. O no, me, o, no, me... no. Hacer la pregunta yo. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. 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 Let's let's do let's do it. Okay. What your question was? Puedo responder, teacher. Uh, who gonna answer? Tell me your name. Karina Beatriz. Karina Beatriz. Okay. Answer, Karina Beatriz. To Ruth Noemi question. Are you from the San Miguel? No, I'm not. Are you are you from San Miguel? Sí. Uh -huh. Are you from eres, San Miguel? Eres tú de San Miguel, entiendo. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. sí. What was the question? No, of... I, no, I'm not. No, I am not. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, I'm not. No, no, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Let's continue with. Thank you, thank you, guys. Let's continue with the the next presentation, right? Okay, here we have World Power. Hello, and goodbye. Here we have a chapter. In, do you know this expression? Which one are hello and which one are goodbye? Complete the chart and expression of your own. What you can understand by hello and what can you understand by goodbye? Can someone tell me uh, something related about these two words? What is this one? What's up? Hello, but what about hello? Hi. Good morning. Um, mm -hmm. Which one we can use going. in this in this category? Okay, oh, let's gonna oh. enumerate them. The, the Good number morning. one. Good morning. Yeah. What Good else? Good morning. Hi. Good night. Goodbye. Uh, no, 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 Night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.
Okay, have a good day. Thank you, thank you, Gaia. You are really paying attention. And here also we can use like uh, some other idiom, but uh, we are talking here just a popular language. Uh, tenemos idioma, eh, idioms, eh, como frases idiomáticas que también tiene el, el idioma inglés, hay muchas. Pero, eh, pero aquí estamos haciendo uso nosotros solamente de lenguaje formal. Eh, yo tenía, eh, I had a friend from, from, from LA. He used to live in LA and then he moved here to El Salvador. And he, I don't know. I, I think that is, that is an idiom that he used to use. Eh, mm -hmm. and instead of, he say, hi or hello, he, he said, what's cracking, what's cracking. And, but that is something that is related to the street language, o sea, o lenguaje callejero. Eso quería, what's cracking, él, él te estaba diciendo como, ¿qué pasa? o ¿Cómo estamos? Pero eso ya no es parte del de lenguaje formal como es la estructura. Esos son como idiomas que se adoptan de la misma, de la misma cultura, del de lenguaje callejero. Entonces, de esa forma podemos aprender nosotros también de, de, de otras personas, imagínense. Es bien bonito, ¿verdad? Eh, let's continue, right? Eh, go with the follow-up. Eh, now here, what we're going to do here, guys? We are going to match the, in order to complete the number one with the possible complement right here. Let's going to check the number one. Have a good day. The answer for thank this you. one will be, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Too. Thank you too. What about the number two? Hi, how are you? What would be our possible answer? Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Thanks. Very good. Thanks. Very good. Thanks. Okay. What about Very number good. three? See you tomorrow. Okay. See you. Okay. okay. See you. Thank you. Okay. See you. Okay. See you. What about the number four? Good morning. Hey. Good morning. 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 The, mo the most popular. The one that most we use. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Let's let's practice a little bit about hello. Uh, okay, I would like uh, some participants. I don't know who. Daniela. Hello, Daniela. How are you? Hello, Daniela. How are you? What will be your answer, Daniela? Pretty good, thanks. Okay, thank you, Daniela. Okay, the follow. The next one, who will be the next one? Okay. And Rommel, Don Rommel. Don Rommel, what about if I tell you <clears throat> good night? What will be your answer? Mm, see you tomorrow. No, I'm telling you good night. Ah, good night. Good night, uh huh. Good night. Good night. Yeah, yeah, that would be the, the, the right question. The right answer, sorry. Um, let's see, who else, who else, who else? Oh, right here. What about uh, Blanca? Blanca, Blanca, Blanca. Hi, Blanca, how's it going? Blanca. Oh. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, Carla. Esperemos que mañana este, la señal esté. Estoy. Un eh, si me corta mucho la señal. Ok, but do you hear my question, right? ¿Escuchó mi pregunta? No. Ok. We're going to Jocelyn. Jocelyn, can you hear me? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, can you hear me? Jocelyn. Just a chair. Jocelyn, how 
it going, Jocelyn? I think very well. Very well, Jocelyn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Those ones are some of the most common greetings that you can use in order to answer to someone or somebody that is um, saying or telling you a greeting, right? Because greeting, we have a different greetings. Eh, los saludos son muchos aquí en la Conchinchina. Eh, son muy diferentes. Así como... Eh, Como lo, algunos europeos tienen la costumbre de, de, de besarse una vejilla, la otra, los saludos de nosotros son muy diferentes a otras culturas, a otros continentes, ¿verdad? Como ya lo, ya lo hemos visto nosotros también ahí en, en la televisión. Ok, let's continue. Teacher, have a question. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre how are you going y how are you? Entiendo que significa lo mismo. ¿En qué momento utilizar uno o el otro? En eh, how are you going, how are you? Eh, hey. eh, la diferencia sería como en algo más formal, en la formalidad. Las dos, las dos son lo mismo, significan lo mismo. Pero la diferencia como que how are you going Es como cuando decimos nosotros en buen salvadoreño, llegamos donde un amigo y decimos, ¿qué onda? No es lenguaje formal. Es lenguaje formal cuando usted viene y dice, hola, ¿cómo estás? Entonces, en este caso, how are you sería como lo más formal, lo más propio, lo más adecuado. Y este como how's it going es como con tu, with your closest friend, con alguien cercano a usted, ¿verdad? Alguien con quien realmente se lleva. Porque usted jamás de los amase va a llegar con una persona que es primera vez que la trata y le va a decir, Eh, en español, como qué onda. No, usted siempre la va a saludar y le va a decir, hola, ¿cómo está? Eh, okay. sucede, y sucede lo mismo en inglés. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, y how are you? También se puede contestar, I am fine, thank you. Yeah, we can answer in that way. Podemos contestar de esa manera, porque le pregunta, how are you? ¿Cómo está? I am fine. And you, estoy muy bien. ¿Y tú? Eh, es válido también, María Wendy. Es válido. Gracias, okay, gracias. Teacher. Thank you. Ok, ok. Continuamos eh, rapidito porque ya nos está absorbiendo un poquito el tiempo. Ok, we are talking about names. Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with this name? What are they like? Here we have a little article that is talking about eh, some famous names, right? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names from babies in the United States are Jacob, four boys, and Emily, four girls. What, what, can, what, what, can, uh, what can we understand by popular names? Nombres what, yes. Famous. Comunes. Populares, famosos y comunes. Ok, let's continue. Why are these names popular and why are some names unpopular? What can you infer or what can you tell me about unpopular? Un De los que están ahí, teacher. Popular, no populares. Otro. Los que no, no son populares. Los que no son populares o los que no son po populares. Comunes, correcto. Continuamos. Continuamos, chicos. Names can become popular because of famous actor, TV, or book, character, or actress. Popular names suggest very positive themes. Un popular name suggests negative themes. And surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from recent survey. Eh, aquí tenemos algunos nombres de con respecto al artículo de, de investigaciones recientemente. Here we have boys name and we have girls name. Eh, we have George. What is mean or what can we say about the name of George? It's average and boring. What can we say about Jacob? Creative and friendly. What about Michael? Good looking, athletic, Stanley, nerdy and serious. This is the way how they describe those names. Those are some popular names in the 
U.S. according to the survey. And then we have girl's name. We have Betty, that is all fashion average. We have Emily, independent, adventurous. We have Jane, plain, ordinary. And I don't know if you are asking yourself what this is mean, plain. Alguien se ha preguntado que puede decir esto como plain. Plena. Plano. Plain es algo común. Algo común. Algo común. In this case, it will be that J is a common name. En el caso de aquí, que J es un nombre más que común. En este caso, el nombre de, de, de las niñas, papá. We have Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. So, why do parents give their, their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after family members. Of course, opinion can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the yours and berries out there. What would you understand a little bit is about this article? We were talking about popular and unpopular names. Unpopular names. Unpopular names. A uh, lot time before uh, hearing us about, I don't know if some of you have heard that your parents, your grandfather, uh, they they made emphasis or they used to talk to you about how they get uh, the name that you already have now. Como la, ¿cómo se llamaba esto en español? La, la, la un librito que le sacaban antes. La, 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 el almanaque, el almanaque, eso, el almanaque, gracias, 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 el famoso almanaque, <risa> lo, lo tenía aquí, on, on the tip of on my tongue, lo tenía en la punta de la lengua, el famoso almanaque, entonces, en nuestra cultura, en nuestro país, nuestros padres solían tomar los nombres del almanaque, por in the U.S., the names are taken from Famous actor, TV, or books. What this means? Actores famosos, televisión, libros, eh, pueden ser este, actores, o pueden ser incluso atletas. Como hoy en día le ponen, a, eh, le ponen a los alumnos hasta Leo Messi, CR7, pero es opcional. Entonces, ajá, es, es opcional del de, 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 de papá, para gusto de los colores, ¿verdad? That's, that is about this article. To make emphasis about popular and unpopular names. Right? What would be a popular name here in El Salvador? Tell me. One or two. Maria. Juan Carlos. Maria. Carlos. Daniela. Daniela. Gabriela. Gabriela. Juan Blanca. José. Daisy. Vernáculo. Antonio. <laughs> Antonio. José. Miguel. Blanca. Miguel. Blanca. José. Cupertino. Ajá. Armando. Armando. Antonio. 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 No, ustedes marco Antonio Solís, me están diciendo ahorita. <laughs> ok, ok. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing me the popular name here in our region, here in our country. The famous or common popular name here in El Salvador, because we're already talk about the popular name in the U.S. in the United States, right? But we also can make emphasis in our country because our country is really, really beautiful, right? Okay. Now, in okay. order to finish and close the chapter of this class tonight, and we have the following article. We have. And we're going to check if it is true or not. Well, 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 well. Here we have like an open question, right? The number one says, your name is part of your identity. What do you think? What do you think? Yes. Your name is part of your identity. Do you understand the question, the, the sentence, right? Your name is part of your identity. True. True. Your number. Yeah. Su nombre es parte, true. De, es parte true. de la 
identity. identity. That, that, is, true. that is true. true. Okay. It's true. true. Okay, okay. That is true, right. Uh, people often feel the same way about a particular name. I don't understand. Okay. La gente se siente de la misma manera con un nombre particular. False. 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 Porque la mayoría no, no le no le va no va a querer que su papá le hubieran puesto Chepe Trueno. Entonces. Sí, eh, 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 es, es, la, es la verdad. Este, yo tenía un compañero que le decían Casimiro, pero lo peor que no usaba lente. Entonces sí miraba. Uh, that's why we, uh, we refer to the number two. People often feel the same way about particular names. No toda la gente se va a sentir igual con un nombre. Hay, hay muchos nombres en los cuales la gente se sienta a gusto y otros nombres con los cuales la gente no se siente a gusto, ¿verdad? Uh, what about the number three? Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. Lady, correct me in this sentence. What can you say about this? Boys' names. Boys' names. Boys' names. Boys' names. Boys' <laughs> yes. Okay, 50 50 because now in day uh, both of them like uh, boys nay and girls nay are are popular both of them not only girls nay or boys I think it's it's equal 50 50 right okay. we keep it that way 50 50 let's say people are often nay after family members true or false false Yes. Paul. O en el buen salvadoreño, su papá oh. los nombró, los llamó a ustedes por su mismo nombre. No. Paul's name. But in the majority, for the majority, the, for in the majority of the cases, the answer will be true because your family, your father, your mother, eh, name you the same as her name because it's like uh, your legacy. O sea, es algo como, your friends, eh, como... por, los, los amigos son los que ponen casi bueno. siempre los apodos. Los... No, en este caso sí, estamos a, es, no, en este caso estamos hablando que la familia por lo generalmente elige Ajá. su nombre. Ajá, su, elige. Ajá. Su papá ya, le ya. pone o la su, mamá. Su papá le pone el nombre a su hijo para que haya un legado, para que el, eh, el hijo diga, ah. Mi hijo continúa con mi nombre. La señorita. La herencia que le dejan en el nombre. Eh, eh, correcto. Eh, exacto. Y no toda la vez. Algo bueno, vez, ¿no? Eh. Ajá, correcto, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> Algo okay. bueno, ¿no? A veces no tan bueno. <risa> <risa> vale, continuamos entonces, ¿verdad, chicos? What about the question number five? Opinions about making change. Opinion. Is true. It is true. Who said true. true? Henry, Henry, you said true, right? Yes. Why, Henry? Yes. Why, Henry? Opinions about they can change. You can answer the, me. The opinions, opinions, opinions uh, can change. Numbers. Uh, on, in the time. In the time, um, right. Or, or fathers. Um have have a had an, an an opinion different or have, uh, have different opinions right our opinion mm -hmm. your parents maybe they can change of mind and they may be thinking in one way uh, first and then they change their mind and say no this name is mm, not the one that i saw will be great I'm going to choose another one, uh, another one better, or something like that. Eh, o sea, no me gustó este nombre, creía que me gustaba, entonces mejor le pongo el otro, o ya no le llamo Juan Pérez, o le llamo Pérez Juan. Entonces, 
Así cambian las cosas, ¿verdad? I think Henry wanna yes. change his name. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Chico, chico, chico. Uh, let's, let's, we're gonna finish right here. Uh, according to the article, which name suggests positive thing, which, suge which suggests negative thing. According, uh, according to the, the, this slide. Which of these one name you see uh, refer to positive things and which one uh, uh, refer to negative things? Okay. George refer Jacob to... And... Jacob refer to, to positive things, right? To positive. And to Michael. Yes. Jacob, Michael, what else? Um... Just the two of them, Emily. right? Emily. Ah, uh ah, -huh. what about Emi uh, Emily? Emily, uh, Emily. Uh, 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 Nicole. 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 And what about the name of the refer to narrative teams? George. George. Uh, Stanley. George Stanley. George Stanley. Betty. Betty. Jane. Betty, Betty, Betty right? Betty. Uh, and Jane. Jane. And Jane, right. Jane. Jane. Because Jane is play and ordinary. Ordi and ordinary. ordinary. And very, very ordinary. Very is <laughs> old fashioned. Old fashioned. Yeah, right? ordinary. No. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. hey, come on, come on, come on, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, this is uh, all for today. Uh, well, thank you for your attendance. Um, I don't know if someone else uh, was missing. ¿Quién está? ¿Quién, quién no pa, uh, Permítame, voy a, voy a chequear aquí. Uh, Anderson Jeremy Molina is here. Anderson? No, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, no entro en clase. Uh -huh. Carlos Aníbal. Tampoco. Okay. Yo de two of them. Solamente los dos de ellos. Okay, guys. Thank you for your participation. Thanks for being interacting with your classmate and also with me, with my person. And I really appreciate your time. I hope this will be something that really helps us in your life and your daily routine and we hope we can see you tomorrow the same time the same place the same soon okay thank you and have a good night guys uh, i hope we see you tomorrow